What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakai Podcast, week 12 of the winter 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. And finally, we have Ku. Oh, hello there. All right. Uh, so we have just a couple uh, news this week we want to get through. Um, I guess the big one is Bleach coming back, the thousand year arc. Um, I it mean, took 10,000 years to get here. I know, right? <laughs> I guess they're still like we- the diehard fans are excited, but like I just heard so much bad things about the manga that like, I don't know. I don't know if people are really going to be excited for this. Do we know what studio is doing it? It hasn't been confirmed. There's a rumor that Studio Periot, which is the Naruto and Boruto studio. Oh, so okay. That's that's the rumor. Is that, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's anything confirmed yet. Oh, man. Is there any reason why they decided to bring it back? Besides, I know it's like 20 year anniversary, but is there any like real reason why they decided uh, to finish the animation? Just, I mean, it's always money. So they, they probably think that like um, they, they think I, they probably think that like it's more popular outside Japan. So they, they can just make more money that way. They're probably right. You know, like, mm-hmm. you know, NA Europe China probably make probably make up whatever money they put in. Maybe the you anime know. will do it right. Who knows? Uh, no, I, I, long, I mean, no. for that. Damn, man, nobody has any faith. Yeah, this is this is Naruto I mean, and Gordon. I don't know so. anything. I don't know anything about this arc. I just, I just hear like, I think I think it was Peter who said like it was it dragged on, and the people and the ending was bad. That's I thought Peter I said it was good. Okay, maybe it wasn't Peter. I, I swear I heard from someone that like it dragged on. Well, well, Peter does also do the thing where it's like, oh, it's really good, but then he basically then just hates on, on it and gives it a save. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I, don't, I have no idea. That's that's always so, a possibility too. I don't have my hopes up, but we'll see, right? <laughs> I mean, I'll still watch it because Bleach was the like uh, I think it was like back in two thousand seven. It was like the the anime that actually got me back into anime, oh, and then uh, I yeah, it was like it was my favorite running anime for a while, and then. Uh, it's kind the of only it. one of the big three that I marathon, and now I don't remember any of it. Yep, that was the show that I I've never like uh, actually marathon an anime so fast before in my life. Like it was, uh, I watched a lot I of think it if I in, Bleach, in a very short period I think of time. If, if I rewatch Bleach now, I probably would enjoy it more because like because before I just I marathon so much, but oh god, I'm not re- I'm not rewatching it again. I just uh, it was for, I guess for me it's like I don't know I I got annoyed that like Ichigo Cup King his ass kicked every arc. At the beginning, yeah, sounds about right. But you gotta have a comeback somehow, right? I don't know. It's just it's just it's showing a comeback. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, like I'll, I'll still watch it though. It's just like I mean, I'm still watching Black Clover, and I hate the show. Jesus, it's like once I started, I've already committed, is... and I must I must finish. What do you do with your life, Strand? You're just watching these shows that you hate. I, I just hate myself. That's why. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I should also, I men- Bleach. I should also mention. Until it still comes. I should also mention Leech author. He had a one shot, and they're turning that into a movie called Burn the Witch. And oh I, god, I, heard, like, I, I, suck I, I assume it's something new. Some some sites tried saying it's a spin off. I'm pretty sure it's completely new from Bleach. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, I watched like the Bleach two minute thing. Um, just you know, just shots and stuff. Like I actually do miss the guy's artwork. I've actually always liked his artwork. Um, when it was good. And but like when he actually cared, <laughs> I like his character designs. <laughs> and, the most, he just, uh, yeah, I like his character designs the most out of the big three. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really good until uh, until Shonen Jump sucked the life out of him. <laughs> was it really Shonen Jump or just the author? Probably both. I would say I would blame. Yeah. I, would, I would say they're both to blame. You know, money and fame does that to people. You know, just yeah. sucks yeah. the life out of you. So yeah, so, the <laughs> yeah. So I don't know much, but I think. I'll, I'll, watch I, it, I'll say I'll say this: if the the Burn the Witch movie, if it comes to, if it comes to NA, then I wouldn't mind watching it, but I don't have my hopes up. Yeah, same. You I know, really you, know, you know, whenever we're allowed back in theaters. Yeah, that too. Because we, we were supposed to watch Man in this, but that's gonna be months away. That's now. canceled. Yeah, she already that's got her money back. Months so away. It was canceled. <laughs> um, but it was a uh, what was I saying? But I mean, I know nothing of this thing yeah. besides the title. That's yeah. it. So. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of movies too, um, I guess like uh, Demon Slayer movie ring info April tenth. I I don't oh. know like if they're gonna show in theaters in Japan soon or not. We'll see. We're not gonna I get, doubt it. Get in theaters. The thing is about Japan is like apparently like they've been doing better than the rest of the world for coronavirus. Like they haven't had shut down a lot of things. Hmm. So we'll see. 
Do you think they're hiding stuff because of the Olympics, or <laughs> that's that's one that's one thing. But the other thing is that like um they haven't had a lot of cases in hospitals yet, and there's not like a huge outbreak. Like people people were saying like you can't hide outbreaks. Like that's in, true. And like and yeah. like overloaded hospitals with like symptoms that are similar. So I don't know right. what's going on with Japan, but yeah, just just ask them again after the Olympics. Yeah. And just to I, see how I many mean, cases. Olympics are definitely no, they definitely need to cancel because no one, no one can train for it now. So like, it's just it's too unfair to, like, to people. Yeah, because yeah, like people getting screwed over like basically months before it starts. Yeah, they're stuck in a really terrible spot. I've just canceled. Uh, you have to cancel. So don't, yeah. don't be greedy, Japan, and then and Olympics committee cancel it, <laughs> or propose it for see. a year. It's like basically, yeah. But. So that oh yeah, that's that's uh, Demon Slayer movie, and then um, also mentioned quick to uh, a Damachi Damachi season three. I don't know if this was announced earlier or not, but they mentioned that it's airing in July. So I don't remember. I mean, I, I just I knew they so, announced the third season, but I don't know when they. I remember so that the, the screenshot or the the visual they decided to show with it's uh the one girl that was at the end of the last episode in the second season. Mm -hmm. She fell out of like the side of the tunnel, something like that. Yeah, it was like the blue. Yeah. I think it's a blue haired chick. Yeah, sure. blue creature. We'll go blue. Female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like so... creature. I mean, you so were born was, out of a wall. She was in the visual, <laughs> and then now like the new visual. Well, the visual is like, like Bell seeing her, and yeah. So, it's... but, but yeah. So basically, confirming yeah, it's coming in July. I'm surprised it wasn't. I'm surprised it wasn't delayed. That they actually got it through July. By hmm. JC staff, Shren's favorite yeah. studio. I know. JC staff, they, they they put very little effort as is. He's anyway. excited. That's, that's horrible, Shren. It's not that they put little <laughs> effort. It's that like I don't know. They, just, they cut so much things from light like, novels. That's the one thing. I yeah, know. that's that's my biggest. Yeah, that's my biggest. I mean, I guess like Shren, like Shren, Shren can complain about the animation all he wants, but for me, it's just like they cut so many things, and I'm pretty sh sure like the first two seasons of Damachi, they, they they've cut so much, which is really weird because like. The light novel is so popular in Japan. You would think that they'd be able to like to to stretch it, but they're just just rushing through the the, the light novel. And yeah, I have no idea what they're doing. And again, yeah, like people are saying, the people are saying this next arc is again really good. Who I bet it is. <laughs> but that's what people said last last season too. So yeah, but little did they know, <laughs> JC staff was behind it. So like. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna end up reading light novel like just from the beginning. Cause... I'm still gonna watch it, or you can play the mobile game. It gives you it gives you more information I'll, than the I mean, anime. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the anime and then like I'll read the light novel later and see the comparisons. But because I enjoy the yeah. show, so like I'm definitely I don't want to like miss out on the original source. So we already missed out like on arcs and characters and their like, and development oh God, and everything like that, else. Uh, like that sniper chick. Yeah. I swear, yeah. like, if if she's gonna be introduced in this next season. It's... I don't think all, so. All the, well, I was gonna say, all the anime only people are gonna be like, what the, like, who the hell is this chick and where'd she come from? You know. You gotta play the, you gotta play the mobile game to, to know who these people are. Apparently. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah. yeah. So Damachi, I'm so, yeah, I'm so surprised it's coming in July. I, I swear it was, I, I thought it would be delayed for sure, but yeah, coming in July. I mean, technically, it's been half a year, so it's not too long. Has it really been I half guess? a year? Yeah. Uh, okay. The OVA came out in, like, January. Probably the OVA, but it doesn't take that long making OVA. I'm talking about the... Right. But I'm saying, like, uh, OVA was in January, so... Like, was the show in... When... I was think the show, show in summer? summer didn't it? I'm pretty sure the show was summer. I think it was, like... Wasn't it spring to summer last year? Jesus, I don't remember. Wait, was uh, it... Well, no, well, no, I think it was summer. There's only 13 episodes, wasn't it? As we keep talking, I'll, I'll just keep checking. Okay, I'm pretty and sure then, it was summer. I'll just check while we talk. So I guess they had a year, oh. but like that, that's like a that's a normal anime schedule production schedule. So I'm surprised it wasn't delayed. Oh, did you already find it? But, like when it aired? No, I'm just I'm assuming I'm pretty sure it was 13 episodes and it was summer. I might have it mixed up with the game, but I thought the second season ended in December. Came on summer. summer. Yeah, the okay. the show is summer. Uh, must have oh. the boomer memory. My bad, guys. Yeah, Dude. so so that's boomers. So that's Don Machi <laughs> season three. I know it's trying to be so excited once we start talking about that show. It's so it's so depressing. He gets, it's like he gets, I, I, the, he gets to rant all he wants about JC staff, his favorite. Like studio. I thought that show was just so good. Like honestly, like 
I mean, it's like JC staff is fine when it's not like action shows. Like, just stop picking up action shows. And it's just, and it's just like something that like focuses or that needs a like animation like so bad. Um, because well, which is weird because the first season of Damachi, I had really no complaints. I thought it yeah, looked good. Really good. Yeah. And then I have no idea what happened with second season. And then all of a sudden, like when I when we started doing this podcast, this is when I started noticing like how much I hate JC stuff. I mean, like I already know <laughs> from uh, from uh, Index, they they cut so much stuff out of Index. And Shakugan no Shana. The only one they really adapted fully was Toradora. But that was like 10 years ago, so. Yeah. That's like the only one they did fully. And it was a show. Yeah. Yeah, so. so That's gonna be it for um, Damachi Season 3. And then the only other thing I'm gonna gonna mention is just um, real quick is that uh, Oresuki OVA is coming May 23rd. Actually, I think that one has a a theater release in Japan, which again, I don't. I'm surprised Ooh, that, like <laughs> they're allowing that but for, yeah apparently it's supposed to release in theaters in japan may 23rd so we'll see Ugh. actually i don't know they, that was... go ahead i was gonna say i read a little bit of the manga since the the season ended and like the the second arc is kind of it's kind of different like, whatever whatever happened in the second arc was different than what happened in the anime so i don't really know so they didn't go through with the competition uh, whoever whoever is fan translating it, they only got through the, they only got through the the one of the journalists. Hmm. But like, there's like mixed stuff that was mixed around, like um, like uh, like uh, the like the book that that uh, the main the main character lost, like um, it wasn't like the two girls that found it. So, I mean, else? it was I forgot what happened, but like. It was it was like it was like changes in the manga compared to the anime, so I don't even know how much like this anime I can trust. I well, in the anime, the one that uh, they never found a book, right? In the anime, didn't the childhood friend just buy the book for him? Yeah, but like um... uh, they bought the book, but they found the but they also found like the ruined book, um, like because like it fell like in a puddle or something. I need to look go, like I the manga oh. as I don't remember mostly, but like I just remember it was some changes. That was another show that like this the beginning was so good and it just then just fell flat. Just like every other anime God, season. I know. All those all those damn rom coms. Why, man? Why can't you just stay strong? Uh, You're something for for a snafu. Is it really I don't really consider it a uh what did I say? Oh yeah, rom com. Never mind. It's I was for some reason thinking harm. Uh, it's more drama, I, mean, I guess, but Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I, like I said you could say it rom com. Yeah, I consider it more rom com. Yeah, but rom com slash drama. Me, it, if it ends up being terrible, I will deny it up and down. So if you want, to, if you want like a Jeez. like a real, real like a discussion about the snafu, don't come to me. <laughs> I'm rated wrong guy unless you want to hear positive stuff, positivity. All right, and then um, the last thing I just want to mention too is that um, the reincarnation is a slime show. Like we already knew we had second season, and then uh, it's gonna be like two seasons, so it's gonna be split up between uh fall and spring and then in between oh god they're also gonna do like the uh <laughs> the diary the side story or spin-off like called the diaries oh, so god. i have no no idea what that I, i'm assuming that's like more slice of life i don't even know if it's canon or not but so yeah they need to stop but just, basically, just basically like just like yeah so so two seasons and then split up by just the, the spin-off yeah i mean i thought i thought like reincarnate is a slime i thought it was fine but i didn't really see it as like that good of a show i don't know what like why it's giving so many seasons and i don't know like why oh, it's, why it's giving it i don't know what that i mean well the first season was 26 episodes and then second season is just another 26 well if it gets a third season oh, then you can say God. it got a lot of seasons i don't know it's i don't know it just seems like a it's normal generic, show to me. yeah yeah it's just like a generic uh generic isekai. Isekai. Basically. just as a slime like what happened? To, never mind. Well, we'll talk about other shows later on. This news section has been very long, so I'll, I'll mark this down on the podcast. <laughs> Lots of news. Lots of news. That's all right. Yeah, there was actually a lot of anime news, like in these last few days. Oh, because was um, there was there was supposed to be uh, an event that happened in Japan, but got canceled because of coronavirus. So they just streamed it uh, the last this this weekend or something. Oh, um, nice. So all the, all like the news got streamed. Okay. Okay. Yep. That makes sense then. So that's gonna be it for news. We're gonna head straight to My Hero Academia. Um, 
Uh, I guess so, like uh, the the turnaround of uh, bad guys turning good. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I, don't know. I mean, <laughs> I because I actually ended up liking both these characters after hammering them so hard at the beginning. I'm well, fine with it. I was gonna say, but like, I hope we see them more though. Uh, well, I'll we'll see. We'll, we'll go back to this partly. I was just gonna say the main part of this episode is mainly like the the actual like performance, but um, I just want to mention about uh, gentle criminal, like when. When that police officer was saying that, like, you know, it's going to stop you, I wonder if they're going to actually, like, is he coming back as a hero? Like, are they going to retrain him as I a hope hero? So. I hope so. That would be really yeah, cool. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'll take that. Oh, are, they say, are, they say, are they saying, like, they're going to be short of heroes and they need, like, that's why they need, like, as much as they can get? Or Well, I think they, I think, well, I think for heroes, they're looking for good heroes because I think they have, like, it was, like, over, because that was the whole thing with Stain, because it was, like, over. Stain, Stain and Gentle Criminal. Yeah, basically, like, Stan was, like, the whole thing where, basically, was, like, there was just way too many, like, subpar heroes that were basically just in it for the money. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I think, like, now, like, they're going through, like, they're they're taking in smaller hero samples or, num- or numbers Lo- of people. Local grassroots like, heroes. Yeah, basically, something like that. Like, um, and it's so that, so that's, so they're needing, I guess, just, crim- or the uh, heroes that they know that are good. And I think then, uh, I mean, then they know that a gentle criminal, like what he can do. I mean, I'm sure they've seen his videos and stuff. And I don't know. He seems to be like, he seems to be a lot better than other heroes we've seen. Oh, and then um, or maybe... abilities and everything. As long as, they, as, as long as they work as a duo. <laughs> Him and La Brava. They have to work as a duo, though. Um, I, if anything, I want to say maybe it's just that he acknowledges that of his past. So it's like, hey, you know, you're you used to be in a hero course. You're just a dropout. You know, it's a good thing we caught you before you went down this building this path even further. Yeah. So it could just be that as well, right? Like, good thing we stopped you before you went too deep. But yeah, because I, I want to lean towards the we want to recruit you and La Brava. And... That's what that's what I got to like, 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 like the, yeah. the way the cop yeah. was saying, like, because otherwise, I think you would just said like, you know, like, hey, we're just, we'll just. I think they would have said like, we're gonna send it to you. We'll, we'll be lenient or something. But it sounded like they were even gonna do that. I think they. I think they just yeah, it's, they made it sound like they really want to recruit him and. Uh, La Brava, that, that, uh, the other guy was like super impressed by her hacking skills. So I can yeah, definitely see it, her it, being recruited, especially since like she, like Gentle Colonel's gonna take all the blame anyway. So she's technically not gonna have a, a criminal record. Well, yeah. that and then um, and, you know she also basically made it sound like you know she's not gonna do anything unless oh, and also, um, like, Gentle Colonel's there. They use the party's excuse that she's a minor, so it's not, so it'll be like you know it's like she's not. I don't do think she's know a she's minor. A minor? Yeah, I really I'm don't think she's a minor. I'm pretty sure she's under eighteen at least. No, I um, don't think so. I wonder if, uh, if my enemy list has it. I'll, I'll look it up later, though. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it now. Yeah, right. But, um, but yeah, go ahead. I'll say that's the, I mean, that's all I really got to say for just general criminal and the Baba getting caught. Um, so, I, I, I thought it was cool. I, 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 I well, actually, well, I should mention too, like, De- like even Deku too. He he recognized that like he sh- that um that it's not like he, sh- he shouldn't really punish chant of criminal yeah or... well because i mean most of the most of the crimes he's done like i like compared to her uh, the other uh villains we've seen fairly petty from what um because it's just like because he hasn't killed anybody no. it's more of like just you know yeah it's all been kind of like small time or just kind of like, yeah vandalism or stuff yeah. like that yeah. it hasn't been anything too major it's probably and then, even like... like even convenience stores like he didn't take the money did he no, he just like, left it there. Okay, that's what I thought. It's just like, and then he also mentioned the last time he did something like that, it was due to the uh, like the milk company or whatever covering up the expiration dates on their bottles and selling people like expired milk or something like that. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't remember that at all, but I guess. Yeah, I briefly so, remember it. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, so he's just doing stuff for the good of mankind. In all a sense. all the things he'd done would be like just more misdemeanors, and I guess like you know yeah. in the times we live, like. With like you know more of the villains getting more rowdy, like I guess it's not something you want to worry about too much, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But oh, no, I mean, I overall, though. I th- oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, and I also want to mention too. Uh, it a deck who mentioned as to why he said that the gentle criminal is like one of the harder ones that he harder opponents he's ever faced. It's due to the fact that they had the same ideals, and then that could have easily been him, like sometime in the future. So it was kind of like he was fighting himself in a sense. I guess. Yeah, even even though I could never yeah. see Deku go like go that way though. I mean, I, I basically would just see him as like a reporter or something. I mean, if, or if, some Deku sort of, like, never, uh... if Deku never got All Might's power, I think he easily could have 
Did he be on the same so? route? Did he would, I don't know. Uh, he, would, he, would, like... he would have been like a blogger or like a YouTube, yeah. another YouTuber just like yeah. fanboying over All Might and having his, like, his own show. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like I, I I still feel like Deku would have been fine. Uh, I don't know because again, uh, right now he's just having lots of success in whatever he's doing. Um, mm. he's never fallen as hard as Gentle Criminal has, so you can never really say what the person can or will do once they uh, like hit that. Well, like, but like his whole life though, he was quirkless, so like he knows how hard it is to struggle. So yeah, well, I think well, yeah, that's a, yeah, I can see that with Deku because like he he was he had no quirk, so he's basically he was I mean, he he was born with that. Mm-hmm. But then it's just, I guess with gentle criminal, when you when you have a quirk and then you still you know you like where you have like the ambitions to become a hero, and then just one stupid mistake ends up just derailing that entire thing. Like, I think like yeah, Deku right. he's always appreciated that he has a quirk, like not not even just like having a strong one, just like just appreciate that he has one in general. It's just yeah, been but so he's long. also never he's also never really faced anything that's caused him to uh, cause severe depression either. I I would think I mean, Quirkless would be fairly depressing too. I mean, right? But it's not. This, this like, is the last arc with Shisaki and like and and you know, uh, Lomillion losing his quirk, like. Right, but imagine if everything would have went downhill from there, right? Like after with Night Eyes death, and then not being able to put on this concert for Eri, and then, um, you know, having to be like a giant failure of an event, um. I guess I'm assuming it'll start to stack up eventually, right? Because then with Gentle Criminal, it was he was failing school and then he tried to save this one guy and it failed, causing injuries and then causing him to be disowned by his family. And then, you know, like there was a lot of series of events that caused him to be the way he is. But before all that, he was just like Deku, right? He was just an aspiring uh, teenager that wanted to be a hero, which it just didn't end up working so well for him. So I think that's kind of why. I can kind of see Deku going down the same path if things didn't turn out the way they did. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Um, uh, but like overall, like kind of like this whole like arc, I enjoyed this arc more than the actually slice of life school arc, which was my reverse thoughts at the beginning of this, where uh-huh. I was like, Oh, I'm really excited for like the, uh, the slice of life kind of school life arc. And then, uh, and then they you know, throw in these two random criminals. I was like, Oh my God, just keep these out of them out of there. I ended up having reverse thoughts by the end of this uh, kind of whole thing. I ended up enjoying La Brava and Gentle Criminal way more than the, than the mm. school arc. Also, why English? <laughs> why is it always English? Because you gotta like, why, do it. Why? Because uh, Japanese it, it, people love English, man. They do. Oh, God. Yeah. That's why, like, that's why the Persona songs are always in English too. Mm-hmm. But Persona songs are good. They're also okay. old. That that they have like less f- fluent English than this song. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll say, again, I'll say I this, this. Like, uh, the performance, I'm glad it wasn't cringe, but the dancing was so weird. The dancing made no sense. Uh, I, yeah, I, I didn't like the song a, it's either. It's like the though, Japanese, but... like, like, pop, not idol, like, just the pop, Japanese pop, like, dancing. Man, like, oh, if, this, if, only, if only this was, like, K-pop, they would have been on fire, but it just turned out weird. That was, like, my dancing. No, <laughs> No rhythm. It's a it's a PG thirteen concert for teenagers, so dude, um, yeah, no, no. I wasn't expecting dude. anything. But to be but to be fair though, like, K- I'm not K-pop, a big fan dude, of K pop idols debut when they're like, yeah when they're like fifteen or whatever. Like, they dance like super good. Yeah, I mean, for I'll... me, like, I'm, no, I'm not. I, I've never been a fan of like dancing or singing. So already, I will always be negative when it comes to that stuff. So I, I probably shouldn't really comment too much on this. Yeah, I mean, but... w- were you guys expecting like booty shaking and other? No, stuff? no just like. Well, okay, that, so you can have good dancing. <laughs> just the this one's just really weird. Like, honestly, it, I didn't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't care the, at all. The superhero teenager school. What, what were you guys really? Uh, go watch some K-pop like uh, debuts of people who are like they're when they're okay. fifteen or sixteen. They're heroes. They're heroes. They're, 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 their goal is not to dance. You can be a hero and, and like a dancer, just like how like a, uh, just like how Jiro was a hero and a musician. See, this is where we need oh. Brian when you were hitting at Deku's moves. It takes longer than, than a week, David. Okay. <laughs> it's, those are my thoughts. I'm just saying, I just, I don't like Japanese dancing. Like, I don't like dancing at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, just, it's, it's okay, so guys. Weird, it, it did it no, I purpose. Thought, like, it's fine. Honestly, it like, I, like, yeah, I knew I knew what it was. I mean, I knew I knew going into it like what it was going to happen. So I you know I braced myself. I mean, the one thing that threw me off though was why it was English. The song was decent, so. It was just I mean, good. It was a good, good feeling overall. Just, uh, uh, it's whatever. 
So she I wasn't did. expecting much from it. I mean, just yeah. like it was there to make uh, Ari happy. So that's yeah, that was basically it. It, it was all to be expected. The, 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 the unexpected part was like the whole twist with like the like the, the villains and possibly becoming uh, give good. Give a shout out to uh, Class B because I love their play when they just did like all the pop. The pop <laughs> the, that was that was the best. That was the Romeo, best. It was like Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Dude, that, that, was that was the best. That was great. Oh um, my god. I would have I would have rather them just like them focus on that one that instead play. of. Like, the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, was, the dancing, the dance. We get the we get the dance, but the play when you had all those things, the greatest play. Come on. Yep, they should have actually. They should have easily focused longer. I was laughing so hard <laughs> that play. I would easily, I would easily watch an OVA if it was basically just, them, just them doing the play. <laughs> that would that would be awesome. Dude, I'm surprised they actually were allowed to use all those words. I'm not like, I wonder if they got copyright uh, in advance or something, but. It's I don't know maybe oh, it's different in Japan. I mean, technically, it's a country, they so. were just saying a random word, so that it, yeah. you know it just it could happen that somebody has the name Gandalf. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I forgot Our, the other, the other terms old. he used. Lord of the Rings is old, so maybe it's public domain. But Harry Potter is and Star Wars is still pretty new. So yeah, I don't know. It was just it was, it was good. That was, it was good. It was, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. Overall, I mean, it was like they they. The episode was like, in a sense like what I expected, but so whatever. It, yeah. like the, the spin with like the the villains I, was. Really I'm just cool. assuming like this episode was like the conclusion of the arc. Like I don't think this, this is just yeah, this is just that school festival. I think we can say this like this at the end because yeah. we, we still have like a couple more episodes left in the season, but setting up the next it's, arc. It's setting up the next arc, so that's why I'm more excited. Is yep. it though? Because right now the the next episode is based on the hero placements. Like the popularity contest, and then they're introducing oh, yeah. uh, so Hawk, yeah. Hawkman or whatever now. Yeah, or so, so, so that episode will probably be uh, a random episode they just kind of play they they place in like right. maybe right before I mean, and I'm then that, like, the final one will set it up. I mean, I was just saying, I'm just saying that like it will still be considered part of the the, the school festival arc, but like I'm saying that it just feels yeah. like this oh, yeah. is the last yeah. one. I just yeah, want to call out, I just want to call out, like in the preview we saw Hawk. Dude, mm-hmm. what the hell, man? Like he was in the fucking movie, and now. Hey, like... man, maybe so many people haven't seen the movie, man. Spoilers, Dude, spoilers. Like... No, Hawks, no, Hawks was always there. He, uh, what was it? Uh, the so, I don't remember seeing him. The, the Raven seeing guy for the movie. Yeah. No, no, the Raven guy went to his agency for his work study. So you know, we oh, never shit. saw the character, oh, but That's Hawks. Right. But but Hawks oh, was introduced okay. like very early, and then he recruited the. I do uh, remember that, yeah. But we never saw him, though, did we? Yeah, yeah, all. we never we never okay. saw. Him. Okay, but but yeah, he he was recruited to uh, be trained. That's why, like in the movie, when Hawks picked up picked him up in the cave, so, yeah, I mean, he, yeah. knew, he knew who who Hawks walks, who Hawks yep. was. Okay, uh, yeah. So that's okay. the guy. That's that's true. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Just, I just don't know anymore <laughs> because like so many spoilers were in that movie, so like. I don't know what spoiler yeah. we saw in the movie that's gonna be for next season, but god damn it, why'd you do this to us? I, I mean, mean it, it can't be that bad. Just, just because. But, I mean, this, uh, that's really gotta be the what the last spoiler because we already saw Deku's like little uh, gauntlets, and then really this is like the last thing I get. Oh no, there is another one that we technically don't know in the anime yet. I don't know what you're talking about. I, but you don't, you the, don't mention the, it. Scientist. Scientist. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically everyone's abilities have been shown already, so and we kind of know where everyone. Well, we don't know what Hawks does besides just be like an investigator. That's about it. Just, just yeah. reminds me that uh, DC but... hero. So yeah, but anyway, we can say that for next week when we actually like hear about him and we can talk more about him. Yeah, uh, I'm ready yeah, to move yeah. on. Yeah, I think that's it. We talk more about the <laughs> we talk more about the villains and like the main part of like what the arc was supposed to be. Dude, they should have put this arc before Chisaki's arc. Dude, it would have been the perfect uh, but, start well, of the season, well, I think. The whole but, point of the festival was because of Aerie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, the way that they, they set the temple and everything, like, oh, I yeah. felt more entertained watching this whole arc than Chisaki's arc. Yeah. And, uh, yep. That's, that's crazy. It was, like, completely just, like, with the Chisaki's arc, like, I was so hyped at the beginning, and then it was just kind of, like, think... in a lull, and then just plummeted yeah. at the I end. This one was just, like... It's just because, like, Chisaki's arc was had higher expectations, so... Yeah, and then this one is just like like my uh, was it the whole thing was just so low, but I actually just ended up getting like uh, with like it was like better and better. Yeah, um, I, mean, that was it. I think it's just like yeah, setting ex- expectations, just because like I just heard from the manga readers that like Shisaki arc was gonna be so was gonna be so good, and then it just dragged yeah. on in the anime. So yeah, mm. I heard like basically people were saying it was really good. Then I, there's other people I knew that they were they were saying like this is the this is the worst arc, and any, I don't really that, but... know. 
Did also, you guys, did you guys also, like? Also, the fact that like it just it's still annoying that the a lot of G, the Jisaki versus the Minion fight got screwed over because of the movie. So yeah. So it's like I mean, as much as I enjoy the movie, I really wish it didn't like affect the main series as much. Or at least Mill Millions, Mill Millions fight that would have been really cool. Did you guys like Chisaki arc more than this than the school arc? Or I still liked it more, just because like it felt no. I, I still, like the school I, arc. I still felt the tension from the Chisaki okay. arc, whereas this one just like I just want to get over with. Yeah, Fair enough. And then, and then again, it could be due to the fact that it had low ceiling, so it yeah, that's true. Surprised so, me, which is why I enjoyed it more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, still, I, was, I, yeah, still, I, still, I, I still enjoy Chisaki's arc better. So okay. I think I'm done. So uh, that's gonna so be it for week? yeah. So next week, that's gonna be it for My Hero Academia. We're going next to Haikyuu to the top. Oh God, <laughs> Kuo, do, you, do you have much to talk about? I mean, why do you sound so <laughs> supported? I mean, uh it's it's every time, man. Like it's like with these like uh, because before with the previous seasons, like you mm-hmm. get really hyped for the matches just because the animation got you into the mood. And this one is just like, it's it's almost oh. like I just want the match to get over with so I can go back to like their. Like they're just random bantering with one another, because mm-hmm. that 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 part is easily the best. Like easily, like if you have lo- bad animation quality, like those are the best parts of it. Like anime, and for I mean, like what I think at least, or mm-hmm. for me, yeah. Uh, but I was I was actually really happy that they finished this. They finished this first uh, match so fast, like that they, that they, it actually got done. They didn't drag it out. They just ended it now instead of having it go f- even further. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you thought. I mean, again, I still feel like they're just using this first uh, first part of the season to build up the team, and then they're going to make it more entertaining or more epic with the next season. Because, yeah, it was, this team was very lackluster. Uh, you know, you would imagine that since everyone that's currently at the national tournament, they defeated some kind of powerhouse school to get there, right? So I was expecting more of a challenge from them. But then these guys just basically, st- like Karasuno just steamrolled them after they got adjusted to the, to the new environment. Yeah. And it was like the most epic thing the other team did against them was that underhand serve. The ceiling ball. <laughs> the ceiling ball. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone was like, what the hell is this cheese, dude? Yeah. Um, and then once they got <laughs> accustomed to that, like they just like took over. That was like the most like that I think they put in any kind of budget for anime animation. That was like that was that that, that shot looked so sick, and then yeah. you just find out he basically it was just him just hitting it almost straight up. Yeah, and, and I'm just like, oh god, dude! I actually thought it was pretty funny because that's uh, I, I remember like when I was playing volleyball in the parks, I would do that sometimes too, just for the hell of it. And yeah, it's actually same, a lot harder than you same. think to keep it in the court, but mm-hmm. I just thought it was pretty funny. Yep, yeah, I thought like if I was a volleyball player, I would be that guy. <laughs> I would just kind of walk in there, not knowing anything they're doing, and all of a sudden, like, oh man, this bitch comes in underhanded. What right. is this? And then just either hit the, either drill my teammate or hit the ceiling, and then fall. Yeah. But um, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's not, it wasn't too bad. It was, but it was really lackluster. And then, um, see, I don't know if it's best out of five or best out of three. Best out of three. Yep. Is it? Okay. Yep. Yeah, because they said uh, match point. Oh, and gotcha. then, uh, yep, and they have, it's a match point in the second set. So I was like, okay, good. These are only best of three. So I, I was like, oh, we don't have to worry about this dragging any longer. It can just end right, right here. Uh, what, yeah. So so do you think they're going to do another match? Or do you think it's just going to be like, what, what I think it's going to be, it's going to be Krasno just watching other matches, just kind of like showing up the other teams and you kind of just knowing who they are who they have to face in the future. And then I think the season's going to end like, like right before like starting up another match. Maybe, yes. Well, that's... That's what I'm thinking too. It's gonna to be them watching them uh finish up the first rounds of uh competition and watching then, some other beast teams. Yeah. And then yeah. like the last episode will just be a setup. Like they do the draws and then they realize who the next opponent is, which I'm assuming is gonna be like some kind of crazy powerhouse. Yeah. And then that's how they're gonna end it. See when I saw that when I saw that epic animation of the ceiling ball, I'm thinking, okay, they have a Shit chance. To be real. They they could do it. Just please do it for next season. Right. Don't let that get away. And then you all of a sudden, then you see them all rush the courts, and it just looks janky and everything. I'm just thinking, oh Jesus, like just get this over with, please. Because it's like, because if you go back to the the the, the that like, almost like that's the same point where mm-hmm. everybody's rushing the net of the third of a uh, third season, like it looks so much better. And then you just see them just like running, and it just looks like they're almost like it. Kind of reminds me of the Dororo Dor- episode where it's just like pixel art, where almost where they're just kind of like jumping back. It like, wasn't up and as down. bad. Well, but... But, yeah, that, I, yeah, it's, it's not. I'm uh, I'm exaggerating quite then, a bit. To, to be honest with you, I never really noticed how bad it was. But then the more I listen to you complain about how bad it is, <laughs> I'm starting to notice it now. 
<laughs> you know, it's like, man, what is this problem? Like, oh, oh, wait, I see it. Mm-hmm. I am the voice of reason. Please this follow my my beliefs. <laughs> this might be it thing, but I mean, even then, like, if I, I want to say, if you're a hardcore fan, uh, you probably won't notice it just because you're a little biased. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. The, the the more I pay attention to these small details, like you mentioned, I guess I'm starting to see it more yeah. and more. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, again, it's not to the point as do, uh, the rural or do the rural, whatever. Yeah. Where it gets to the point where it's just unwatchable, right? Yeah, that, me, honestly, that was yeah, that was that was basically as low as as you can possibly get. Where it, I don't even know what happened that episode. Right. It was it was just so bad. Um, yeah. And then it just, it, uh, but uh, anyway though, but for me, like for Haikyuu, like I actually really liked Haikyuu. Like when like first I was a person that thought like, oh my god, who would watch this sports garbage? And then I got into then I got into Haikyuu. Then it, first season I was kind of like making fun of some things here and there, but then I ended up getting really into it. Then second season loved it. Then third season was just spot on as well. So it's just like it's not like I've been hating this show like from the beginning. I was like really hoping for like intense anime. I mean, I still like the random banter back and forth, but just the ma- the matches with that epic animation just kind of needs to come back again. Makes I it more re- uh, intense. I still remember the first few points you made about watching the first season. And I just I just couldn't believe you. Which 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 press were uh, were they like the uh, face through the nets and stuff or no no just just oh. other things but we'll, okay. we'll leave it at that. <laughs> But, I don't uh, remember. I have I'm, to, I'm, I'm glad you turned around. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, well, because there, there's some parts I remember I was giving crap about how like, that they ended up doing this season again, where they play one point, talk mm-hmm. forever, yeah. play another point, then all of a sudden you show the score, and that's like 16 to 17 in the second set. It's like, wait, they just started this set. What happened in the other 15, 20 points? Yeah, like for me, it's always been okay if it adds More actual content to the story, but if it's just like random fillers that doesn't really tie to it in any way, yeah. or you know, like enhance the experience. I don't yeah. see why they do that. Like with the first season, I can kind of get where you're coming from. Yeah. But like once the the second half of season one and when season two started up, like it was always just like, like, like on from the get go. It was always just like going at a fast pace that made you want to watch from the very beginning all the way to the very end. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like with this again, it feels like they they're just taking a step back to just set everything up for the next season. So I hope so. It, it's been very, uh, I guess I can say very disappointing with how it it's been uh, wrapping up. But I mean, yeah. like I said, hopefully it gets better. Yeah, but like I said, for like this season, it's like that's fine if this is the season that they do it because of their right. They're facing a team nobody cares about. Yeah. Uh, and then they're and then also they they, they they like the main drama that they did for this game was basically it's like oh the ceiling's too tall like the the the, the dimensions are like all you know askew and yeah. all uh, and then they basically had to try to hype that up and really it's just like yeah you're playing facing a nobody team like it's like I don't think there's anybody thought that they would lose in the first like when you saw the team did you think they were gonna have any chance of losing? No. No. Okay. But... Yeah. So it's like it's hard, like, but it, but like uh, your previous your previous um uh uh what was it like your like were your previous thoughts or maybe like where you thought could have happened where mm. they could have had like a, a surprise like beginning match where it was actually player or it was a team that we knew yeah. where it's just like, oh shit they face them in first round I think yeah. I would have been way more nervous <laughs> I thought that's what they're gonna do because yeah. they only had so many episodes left yeah um, so again I'm really surprised that they went with this route starting them out with a, like a no name team. And just like bulldozing them over yeah. two episodes, so uh, well, I, I'm fine with this way because I, I, I mean, for me, I this is the route I thought they were gonna take, uh-huh. where it was gonna be they were gonna be a, there was gonna be a nobody team, they were gonna wrap it up really fast, and then what I still think is gonna happen is basically since they got it done so fast, right? I, I mean, if there's two episodes left, I don't think they're gonna start another match. I think it's more of like they're gonna be watching other matches where they're just gonna show you uh, the, the 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 teams that are actually in this tournament. Mm-hmm. And then I think that just to basically set up like you know then the next arc matches or whatever you want to call it for next next season. Well, this match itself was only two episodes, so mm. in all honesty, if oh, they set yeah. up the next match, they can probably finish it within the second episode. So I would it's, rather it's possible. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like, do you think the do you think their next round is going to be another no name team, or do you think it's going to be a, a team that we know? Uh, probably a no name team because based on the previous. Think, okay. Based on the previews, I've never seen any mention of this team before, and it didn't look to be like a key character. So, see, it, I, it's, it's possible. I thought it was basically the the in the in the the preview. I thought the person that they showed was that that owl guy, the guy that I first mistaken as the as the hey 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 guy, but it was somebody wow. else. I thought that was his jersey. Oh, I thought, uh, I thought he, that was him. 
he looked a little too tall for to be that guy. Did he? I thought he looked yeah. short. <laughs> but well, I, don't I don't know. know. Just okay. an animation aspect, I guess. But, right. Uh, yeah, I know. And the maybe, preview was two seconds. So Yeah. So maybe I should look at it again. But he didn't seem to be like a key character. So Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So which path do you think is more likely? Just setting just basically them where they're just like showing the other teams or them playing another match before the end of the season? Well, to keep pace with the the next season being what twelve, thirteen episodes, I think uh, the same. Yeah, twelve or thirteen, I think. Yeah, I think the most feasible route would be to do another quick match, and then set them up to be in the quarterfinals with the other powerhouse schools for the next uh, part of the season. Um, I think so that like would be quarters the most and semis. Yeah, so like they do another quick match, and then like they get to the quarterfinals. They figure out who the quarterfinals uh, bracket is, and then start the next season with that. That would probably be the most feasible way to finish the the season. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, well, who knows? Right? It's, uh, yeah, that's about all I got to talk about. I don't think I have anything else. Yeah. So we'll just figure out. Well, I think we'll we'll have more to talk about next episode because that's when it's really going to kind of set it into make everything else into play. I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, or at least, yeah, I would say next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So looks, looks like that's gonna be it for high Q to the top, and then. We're right, next to Fake Grand Order, and this is also so oh, this. Yeah. this <laughs> <I forgot>. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep this right. So this was. Uh, I was just about to mute. I was about to mute my camera or uh, you know hide it and basically about to eat. <sighs> okay, sorry. Just continue. one more. Just one more strand. All right. So this yeah, was yeah, the yeah. last episode of Fake Grand Order. We should mention too that um, uh, Fate uh, the Solomon arc singularity was anime was announced as well. So, so that's so. supposed to take place after this then. Yeah, so that's basically it's like the final part. Oh. I don't know how like the mobile games work set up, but they're saying how like basically you know the seven singularities was like part one of the mobile game, and this is like the final part of part one. And everyone was saying, I, I it's ba- but everyone was saying it's also like it's like the Avengers of Fake Grand Order, so I'm assuming like everyone in the singularities oh, comes damn. back for this. Okay, but people were saying too that I'm um, like like you know like you definitely need the mobile game to understand what's happening because like oh god like okay. it was hard enough of like just if you were saying that you could probably get by a little bit with like babylon but for solomon you definitely need the mobile game oh jesus well uh rip so i don't know if i'm gonna watch it but maybe i'll or if i watch it, i don't know if i'm gonna mention it on the podcast because just because we're gonna be so confused if we didn't it's gonna be really hard game. to talk about yeah besides so, it's like oh the animation looks nice and then i'll just, nothing I'll else. just be just I have to like look at like the red discussion every week then, which I don't really want to do. Yeah, for it, for I don't sure. think I want to. Yeah, it's especially it's it, there's so much to this. I, I just like I said, like I don't know how long I've been watching Fate, and I just I watch it just for so, mainly like, like the animation. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I in certain characters. So like, whenever it comes out, like maybe we'll just watch it, and not mention the podcast. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it's it's because it's definitely like towards the end of this uh, end of this uh, season, it's really it's getting hard to talk about because. So I don't know stuff. a lot of the things that are happening or the characters that they're yeah. introducing, and I and I and I didn't play the mobile game this far enough to know, and I also didn't really look up enough to even like really mention it. But I, I thought they actually that this last episode. I thought I thought it wrapped up pretty nice. I totally forgot. It wasn't too like, bad. I thought I, I I forgot that last episode. Of like I guess they did kill off Tiamat. I, yeah, yeah. Like, when 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 um when Fujimara when he like he he jumped into like like her consciousness whatever and like yeah. killed her within. I forgot about that part. I I was coming in expecting like another fight or like another form, but I guess this is just the wrap up episode. Yeah, I mean it wrapped up nicely. Uh, I guess basically like all uh, of the the servants like came back a little bit because even though they died or I guess like their spirit, they use all like their spirit their servant energy or whatever like they have a little bit enough just to say goodbye yeah so when gilgamesh left or disappeared was he he was a servant at that point wasn't I'm he pretty, okay that's what i was a little confused about too i think he is a servant yeah i'm pretty sure he did okay. yeah so i think when he was saying like like talking about like being a king and like his people i think he's just saying just because like uh like everyone in Bab- like in uric and you know babylon in general like they have to move on about the king about gilgamesh Okay, I'm pretty sure too. Like when he was talking about um that story about how he found immortality, uh, immortality, and he like lost it all by the snake. <laughs> Random snake. I'm pretty, sure yeah. that, I'm pretty sure that's from the actual like 
uh, Gilgamesh myth story. Yeah, uh, the epic of Gilgamesh. That's, that's that, that was actually pretty cool. It's like, like a little story thing, and it's it's so like Gilgamesh to basically instead of just like freak the fuck out, he just laughs, and then uh, where he's just like this. This is it's almost like it's so stupid to be true, and it actually is. Well, I mean, that's, that's, I, 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 hey man, that's the, that's mythology, right? Lost dumb shit yeah. happened in Greek mythology too. Yeah, I like how a snake just randomly takes some sort of herb. It's just like, yeah, this looks nice. I mean, hey, and then it just hey, looks it. Is that better than Rome being found by two brothers raised by a wolf? <laughs> also, how would he know a snake took it? Like, you think he'd be able to hunt that damn thing down if if he would have been if he would have just like seen the snake slither away? You're not gonna stop that. With, with you're not gonna stop the snake with the immortality herb. He probably was just like, the caught, snake ate he was it. So like, just mentally lost by then. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because it sounded like his jersey. Yeah, it sounded like the journey was pretty intense. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever ended up happening. So, but I don't know I enjoyed like that little kind of story. That was fun to listen to. I'm just, uh, it uh, wrapped... I'm, I guess I'm surprised that uh, Ketsuko came back because I thought for sure the whole thing was like she used up all her energy. So I'm just yeah. like, I'm more surprised that she came back. And then, so the thing about Merlin, like they kept saying like, so that's not that's not his servant form. That's his actual. Um, yeah, form. that was his actual form. Because the so, previous one was servant form, though. So he's saying that now he's going back to the Tower of Avalon. He's saying he's just basically going to stay there forever until he trains Saber or King Arthur. So I would assume I would assume we'll we'll see him in Solomon. For, uh, in Solomon. Uh, but I'm assuming like like in the Fate Universe, like tech, that's what he he only his real body came to Avalon, but now he's going back to the te- to like Avalon. Avalon, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. Like, so, like Solomon. Like, if they're basically, if it's going to be like an Avengers thing, and they're going to be bring, they're bringing a bunch of servants from previous arcs. I think it would be really cool just to watch, just Wait, to basically see it's that. It's called Solomon. Isn't like the final boss? It's like that one guy from the way beginning. Fuck, dude, I have no clue. It's the guy that <laughs> don't the that killed, that killed um, the chick. I forgot her name now. God, the, was his name that, Solomon though? I not, thought for some reason they already got him. Yeah, it was. It was, it was the the guy in the underworld. Fuck man. Well, if you and Ku are talking about your other parts, I'll see if I still have well, if okay. I have well, if I can find the movie quick. Because the the final villain, it's it's that guy from the beginning, right? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, there's but, so many different like the, there's so but, many arcs that they've done and but they but uh this arc <laughs> it know. was the final they all, the final <laughs> villain was was Tiamat, but then like they still have to fight. Yeah, it was the yeah the, I do remember that the, guy the original head of um Caldia, yeah. and he killed yeah, off like, um. The atmosphere chick that I cannot, like the white haired yeah, girl, I, I cannot remember her name at all now. I don't remember her name, and I just like, remember that 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 the, the villain guy, basically him him and his stupid ass Lucky Charms look. I remember him his damn green top hat. Like, <laughs> like yeah, he's a. I'm sure he's the main villain, of the last one. And then I I think maybe Solomon is like is like a time like, whatever period that Solomon is supposed to be from from like well, the Ten Commandments. I'm maybe I guess they go back to that time period. What. What you should try doing, I swear that they 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 uh, referenced uh, or uh, like at the first episode, I want to say they showed like a brief moment when they actually fought the Lucky Charms guy and they beat him. And then I don't know if there was like another person that you're supposed to because I know it's like this is supposed to be like arcs or chapters or whatever. So I thought for some reason they beat him at one of these singularities and then then they introduced like another uh, villain that was actually supposed to be higher up than him. I. I can't remember though. Oh I, I I really wish I would. I'll when like when I said like when you and Ku talk about your stuff, I'll look up the thing and then I'll just okay. try to find, I'll just do a brief mention. I'm just, at the I'm just end. gonna guess that Solomon is just like it's like the kind of like you know Temple of Solomon, just like yeah, whatever like Hebrew Jewish like history mythology that takes place. It's gonna be that something about Ten Commandments and I don't know if Moses is during that time period or not, but like yeah. Where oh. where Temple of Solomon is, yeah. Right. Also, the was that that wasn't the Grail that Gilgamesh gave him at the end, was it? I don't know. Because I didn't know what that was. Because at first they're like, it oh, was it's, a, it's it, an it, Aikido. If it was a Grail, I don't think it'd be like a Holy Grail, or like I don't think it'd have like any. It wouldn't be like a Holy Grail or anything because maybe it, maybe it has like revive purposes though. Because because he used something like that to revive Enkido. Enkido? Enkido? I don't no, know. No, didn't Tiamat take? the grail away from Enkidu when oh god yeah, i don't like, remember when like, when like the 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 monster thing they stab him and they got they got his holy grail inside him damn man when we're discussing this show this just it's this is just making me realize how little i know about this damn show and i watched the entire thing 
And I even watched like parts multiple times and I still don't know. Because we're jumping in like so far in the story. That's why. Yeah. That's why we're so confused. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll, uh, I'll vote also to the next season of this. We don't talk about it because so like, I have no idea. Yeah. So basically, like, yeah. Unless, and also, the mobile game, and also, but... it's confusing because like this whole this whole arc was like people using fake names, like like, like no, Gorgon, Gorgon using Tiamat, and then and Q, yeah. and then King Gu, and just like, yeah. and now it's like um the the guy from the underworld he introduced himself as Solomon, and then he was yeah. really Hassan. So it's like I have no fucking clue. Dude. It's just like like in the in the Fate Stay series, you have it where the, the 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 servants hide their names, and this you just hide your name, yeah, for real r- 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 no apparent reason. But but I don't know. Anyway, going back so, to the thing, I, thought, I, mean, I guess like, this, is, this is the last episode. So do you want to like yep. recap the the series in general, or oh, or the season, um, the past season in general? You just want to like, give like a, a re- we'll recap? do it like next. We'll do it another episode. I'll, I'll wait for the recap when episode. You, you want? Okay. So, yeah, because I, I mean, I feel like this podcast will probably go for a bit longer. Okay. Uh, so, I'm okay with waiting. Okay, we'll do that till next week. We'll next do it week next then. week. Yeah, because we won't. Next week will be a short we week. We won't have yeah much to talk about next week. Yeah, we'll just do it next week. Next week then. Okay. Sounds good. But I do think it wrapped up well. I think the last episode was nice. Yeah. It was good. For not knowing much. So. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's gonna be it for Fake Guy in Order. And then we're going to move next to It Invaded. This was another show that ended this week. Um, Ku, do you want us to just save like, our thoughts on the season in general for next week then? For next week? Uh, no, we could probably just do it now. Oh, do right? it now? Okay, sure. Yeah, otherwise, I won't remember it next <laughs> week. I was going to say, Ku, because next week we'll have less shows to talk about. And it'll just be like, rev- like reviewing a few of the shows that we have. It's up to um, you, Ku. I don't really mind, so... Uh, I re- I'd rather just talk about it now, okay. just so I don't forget. Uh, John, you do the um, same thing for Darwin's game as well. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, so man. we'll do we'll do, we'll do a recap for, or we'll do a, give our thoughts on the, the season in general for both these shows. So first of all, it invaded. Um, so this ending, man. Um, I just want to say I don't know. Like, are you satisfied with this ending? Like, uh, yeah, actually, I mean, it wasn't like. It wasn't mind blowing in any means. It was very uh um what's it, felt, that word? it felt open ended not open ended, it felt like that like I don't know, like it didn't it didn't really like it solved the problem besides getting getting rid of the chief. Because Yeah, because he just basically everything was just pushed on to the next generation or it was op- it was just close to conveniently. Um with the whole director finally getting caught and being stuck in uh and uh, the second layer, yeah, uh, they say in limbo. The, the else. Right. So basically, he's in limbo now, and he's never gonna wake up. Uh, so he's screwed. And then, uh, what the whole Kiki, uh, just being stuck in a well until they can develop a cure or a way to free her without influencing others. Um, if they do create a second season, I, I think that'll be great. But I, I, sh- I don't see. I should mention go um, that. they ha- they have a manga. Apparently, uh-huh. apparently, I can that's that's the sequel because like it. Because like the chief's not there and it has like the new rookie they introduce. Yep. So I guess yet I guess let's go by the manga for now. Maybe if we get lucky they'll make a second season. By the way, too, um uh I this this the studio that makes this is so weird because this is this was started off as original series by the studio. The studio is the same one that's doing infant dendogram. It's also the <laughs> same one that, that did um uh was it like like my sister your writer or whatever? Like the one where like where the sister is like writing like, like novels were about like her older brother, like the weird. Oh. Like, uh, and uh, I think I think I'm pretty sure this is the same one that also did Hajime no Garu too. So this, this is a weird studio. They did all that, and then this season they did okay. it invaded. Okay, well I mean I so, I guess they have they have a lot of skills that they they've can very many very different genres, diverse range. Yes. Yes. But, um. I don't know, just like so overall I did enjoy this series. I still this is still like my top series of the winter season and I would still recommend it to other people, but like it just I, I'm not I just don't feel satisfied. I just feel like we didn't solve anything really besides the sh- we solved one step, which is the getting rid of the chief, but now it's like mm-hmm. yeah, Kiki is like she's just still stuck there and like she still has to suffer like suffer through her nightmares. Like they're still diving into like they're still diving into serial killers and she still has to get killed. 
mm-hmm. in those dream in that, and they have to solve why how they killed her. So it's like, mm-hmm. I don't know, like. Yeah, but then that's why I mentioned like it, they left it so open ended uh, that it would be a perfect uh, setup for like the next season, right? Because now they're doing teams of two for any, for every dive, yeah, and then they still have like an objective to fulfill, right? Uh, so we'll try to figure out how to save Kiki because I think uh, uh, Sakaido or uh, Nagisa or whatever, I, I can't remember his real name. But, I know his first um, name is Akihito. Yeah, so apparently he's going to be the one that gave Kiki closure that he's going to be able to rescue her sometime in the future. Um, so that could be the whole premise for season two. Um, See, I'm always worried though about open ended because you can never rely on having a second season, I right? Guess- I guess like what recently though the trend has been like we've been getting second seasons for last shows so there's more hope. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's there's hope that like maybe like even if this I don't this is the type of series that I don't see doing well in Japan, but like mm-hmm. maybe it did well like streaming in North America and that's how why they got picked up again because they want because they know like the North American audience want the second season so. Or maybe Europe, maybe Europe, like Europe, Europe thing. too. So. Right. Basically, like, just, uh, like, yeah, I mean... just just like I, I see this as a show that did better outside Japan and. Right in this day and age, hopefully that gives it enough chance to give it a second season. Yeah, but again, it was still enjoyable. But I do, I, I do see a point that it wasn't satisfying as an ending. So I mean, um, so besides the complaint that we had about like not being able to solve like the mysteries, like not mm-hmm. knowing anything about Kiki is like the biggest thing. Like we don't, you still don't know anything about her, or like, right. her past, or like, why she's caught up in all this. Like, so I think yeah, that's. It's kind that's, of- that's, that's like why else it feels like unsatisfying because it's like we don't know anything about her yeah it was it was really they didn't really do her justice they they use her as a a, a plot device this this whole uh season and then they didn't really give any uh like info to her origin point oh or they also in general. they never mentioned that scientist ever again or that one doctor ever again yeah he was just there as a flashback when they first met kiki uh, when they're wearing that that prototype helmet, yeah, the VR helmet. helmet. <laughs> yeah, and then that was it. It's like, dude, like, where the hell did this guy go? And it turns out, like, the the director just had a god complex. Like, that was it. She there wasn't anything like more yeah, like it wasn't like sophisticated wasn't... than that. So like, so that's also the other problem. Is like, it was like it was too easy to guess that it was like it was a director. I mean, I just mm-hmm. I didn't like this. This guy sound like like cocky coming from me because like I I didn't say it was him. <laughs> Because like I just uh-huh. thought it would be too easy. Like it can't be him. Like that'd be like that'd be too simple. And like it'd be like it has to be red herring. He it has to be he has to be a puppet for someone else. And then I guess it was just just him. Yeah, actually, I feel like they got lazy at the end. Well, actually, I mean the only other thing is that like maybe if they if they do backstories on Kiki, maybe they will reveal that it was someone else that put the seed in the director, but. Yeah, like like I'm saying, there has to be a season two just because there's there's so many things that we still need answers for. And uh, if they left it just like this, uh, you know, hopefully it's not like a budget issue or something of that nature where it's yeah. like popularity isn't there for them to continue the the project. But uh, yeah, there there it just felt like they they ended it so 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 fast. Like the the writers were just lazy. They just threw whatever together, and then there there you go. That's your ending. Um. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's kind of a mixed feeling. Like, I did enjoy it, but it, it's a mixed feeling that I have yeah. with it. I just, it just feels like some, like, I mean, like, the earlier cases just feel like they could have, like, shortened that up or even cut some just to, like, get more info on Kiki. Like, the whole, I don't know. Yeah, like, expansion of the cases, I think, would have helped like, them like, a lot. A lot of, like, the Grave Digger stuff and then that one chick and her boyfriend. I feel like they could have, like, mm-hmm. cut that out, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I guess like I would, if they have a second season, then I went I would change my mind and say I guess like the time this the time develop is fine if you have a second season, but because we're so uncertain, that's that just makes me like worried. No, even then, because I still feel like they they need to do it for closure. But uh, with the way that they expanded uh, each arc in a sense, I don't feel like it was any justice done. Really, mm-hmm. it was too short. Because I mean, like I said, I I do enjoy the fact that they. They they make you think about certain predicaments and what the solutions could be, but uh, in the end they always just throw it at you. Mm-hmm. Um, but with this, it, everything just felt so rushed. I I don't know how uh, they could have fallen flat, honestly. I think I was I was enjoying the season until the, this this last episode, just because like I just, I guess I had hope that like we 
get more satisfying ending with and like know more about Kiki and stuff. So mm, I say the last two episodes have been pretty disappointing. Mm, I guess I don't know. Like it's just this last episode. Just like it's just on. I, it's just because I watched it today too. So it's just on my mind. So it's just what I'm thinking about the most. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh Yeah, I mean, you know, honestly like I like, I'm, I guess I'm I'm always for happy endings, but I thought for sure that he was going to shoot Kiki when Momoki came and finally found her, right? He yeah. goes through all that shit and then he basically dies, but he was resuscitated back to life. Makes it all the way up to her. Has a gun in her face and then instead of giving closure to to Kiki, which she, apparently she's been asking him to end her suffering. Uh, he just, you know, like pussies out and then just says, no, yeah. we'll, we'll save eventually. We just we just can't do it right now. And I just felt so bad for Kiki. I I just yeah. wish they would have had a different. Yeah, uh, I wonder if she's like, that. if she's still conscious when she's in like that one, like that one, like pool, like when she's like in that area, like. Or like, uh... I, don't know. I don't know. I wonder how she feels like because. Or maybe yeah. I guess what she I guess maybe when she does wake up though she just remembers all the dreams so all the times that she had to be, had to be killed, so yeah. yeah so I, mean, I just yeah, yeah you you do feel real bad for her that like she still has mm-hmm. to go through all the suffering. Yeah, and then did uh did, did Fukuda die? Yeah, because yeah. they don't really he, he so he basically died in real life as well. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's why like um because uh, Honomachi she was saying like you know I, I appreciate. She, I guess either he died or he's in the coma like for permanently, you know. So like, um, man, because it just feels so bad. Because he was actually turned out to be pretty. Uh, oh, yeah, nice say, guy. Shout, out, shout out to him, man. He was, he was, <laughs> yeah. he, was uh, he was, he was a third pillar they needed to yeah. to capture Johnny uh, I mean, I'll Walker. I was, I, was, I shouldn't say MVP. I will, I'll still say like Akihito and Sakaido. I, I'll say he's the MVP because he's the main character, uh-huh. but like, uh. Kuda, he's just—he's our homie. That's all. He's—he's <laughs> he's our he's homie. The, he's a crazy homie. He's our homie. We, we always need that—that that crazy guy to be part of your group. That's the guy. It's so fucked up that he like he drilled holes in people, but in the end, he was still like he was still very important to this series. I mean, even then, he was actually. Uh, I guess you can consider him Vegeta of the group, right? <laughs> Once guess. the villain, now an ally. But it wasn't really his fault either. It was more towards uh, John Walker that yeah. just like planted that seed in his head to be a, a killer so uh, i can't really blame him for all that so, and then by drilling that hole in his head it kind of released him from that uh from that seed that was planted so yeah, yeah i don't think he was a really that bad of a guy so shout out to him yeah yeah rip man um but yeah i mean that's that's pretty much it though like but like you mentioned i, I do still enjoy it and i think it was probably one of the the, the better uh, animes for for the season for winter just just because like we have no other choice so. <laughs> right so uh, take, take it as it is like it's still a good series just like any other season this would be like mid-tier right i mean with the whole coronavirus going on you guys ain't doing anything anyways so you might as well just, <laughs> just... take your time and watch it you you won't regret it i i swear um hey hey you you shut that yeah that's right <laughs> um but i mean it's not bad and then, like you know honestly i would probably give it like an eight out of ten I enjoyed it quite thoroughly, even though the, the ending was kind of lackluster. But I would give it like eight point five, but Amulet doesn't do point five, so I'll just do eight. But you got to round up, sir. Yeah, you got to round up. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it, though. That's all I had. Did you have any? Uh, I don't know. Did you have any other problems with the the season in general? I mean, just the ones we talked about so far. Just like just. Not being able to solve the mystery, and then, um, and then not not having enough backstory in Kiki, and then also just just make it too too simple to guess that it was the director, mm-hmm. and like and just I guess not satisfied with just like his motivations, like right. the god complex and all, and just like just his explanations for start like creating serial killers was wasn't good enough for me. Yeah, like the the whole show was basically on his like very sophisticated premise of of reasonings right and then the last two or three episodes is just um so easy very guessable uh not, not mean, complicated like, whatsoever like, like yeah because it's it started off like very like like psychologically heavy like uh-huh. it's and like very inspired by just like yeah psychology and consciousness and then in the end just like it's just 
the motivation just went too simple. Like, it just reminds me of, yeah. like, just Chisaki, you know? Like, where it started off interesting. We we thought we were get, like, like, uh, like an actual, like, mafia, like, organization mm-hmm. going hard. And it just ends up being him just being greedy. And it's just, yeah, it just a lot of lost potential. And here, it's just, like, it's just directors, like, just, yeah, having the god complex and just mm-hmm. experimenting just because he could, not for any other good reasons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, that, that, I think that's it. And also, it and me. also like the challenger, like I just, just like, um, we didn't really know much about the challenger, but I just didn't see any good reason why he, like, why he was a circuit, why he ended up killing like, like Sakaito's like daughter. Like it just wasn't even a good reason just cause like just kidnapping mm. people and like, and just beating them up in his ring. Like, I don't know. Well, maybe in season two, they'll, they'll expand like, on it. Like, I guess like, I'm just so attached to the kid's character so like so like uh, i felt bad like just having his daughter being beat up for no reason i just expected there to be like a better reason so. yeah like even he didn't really get any closure he's just like forging forward with everything that's been going I just, on like it's just, the motivation just to kill his daughter just, it just it wasn't there so it was just like yeah i don't know it's just like more unsatisfying so yeah but yeah oh i guess and also like it wasn't two. wasn't much uh, focus on the other cast like the the people running the the well besides motoki but we, we even him we barely got saw anything yeah it's, it was just it was like supporting we know, cast we don't know anything about like the, the character besides like like the only chick is hooking up with motoki and that's it hey hey you don't know that yeah. you're just implying it oh yeah they're having business business talk in his his bedroom this is why we can't have nice things <laughs> making me sound like a degenerate here jeez <laughs> yeah you are <laughs> <laughs> Right. so that's gonna be it for it invaded and that's that was our conclusion for uh this season and then we're going over next to darwin's game this this was also the final episode because this only had 11, 11. 11 episodes with the first episode being one hour uh-huh. um damn that was a crazy like last fight i guess like i wasn't ex- i i was expecting like a huge fight between like wang and a Ka- uh, Kaname, and it just end up just being Wang, just getting like the shit being by Shuka. Shuka. Shuka just fucked him up. Oh my goodness! It was just like brain against the beast, I guess. Just raw instincts just falling into a trap, and then uh, just totally getting uh, outplayed in every aspect. Um. So I thought the whole time, I thought like, I thought it was like some sort of like one of the, it was a it was Kaname's privilege. That was like doing all this to um to Wang. I didn't realize that it was Shuka's like signal was like you know the wires. I was, I was basically oh, right. I, was, I was getting baited there. Like I didn't think that it was anything more than chains. But now that it I, it makes more sense why she's so OP and, and why she gets a, why she's flying around so much. I thought like it was just her like moving the chains around, but actually having wires everywhere it actually makes more sense now. Mm-hmm. So now I can see why she's like so strong. Yeah, it makes you wonder, like, how the hell did she lose to Konami in the first place? Like, yeah. I felt like she tried her best, but the element of like the element of surprise couldn't have been that great to completely knock her off guard. Yeah, um, and plus also I mean, like, and she called him out too. So like, yeah, she was in a warehouse, so you would think that like she would have a wire set up just like th- that. Like warehouse she did wing, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it made no sense how and, she lost to him. And like that was like when like Konami was first like using, serving his powers, but like he still just he just like he. He crafts them, but like I don't get how that can beat like her her powers. Yeah. No, like I said, plot armor. They're, that's like the only thing. So that's something I want to mention too. Like during like when Kanoe went crazy, like when he kept like shooting everyone. Like I again, I thought that was his privilege because even that that one guy even mentioned it too. How why is Kanoe so strong? He has above average like reflexes and he's good with like guns and knives, but he's like like shooting everyone. Like, even just like a couple, even with a couple months of training. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can get headshots, but like, there's ten people. Are you saying like those ten people, not one person got one shot off him before he get to shoot everyone else? Brain power, sir. Like that was that's all it was. That part was just really weird. Like they, there was like no explanations why he was so like he was so much faster and had so much better reflexes. I mean, they're they're just implying a lot, really. All right, uh, because like from the very beginning, uh, his friend that was able to see the aura of people told him that for some reason he had this really strong aura inside of him. So that's how he knew that he was going to be like a strong character. And then uh, the whole like Zulan as to why she wanted him in the first place, because he, he just has those those natural assassin or soldier instincts. 
and then given that with his uh like his logical prowess and the the training that he's had to uh, match up with that like everything that he has is above average but it all adds up to be this like deadly package so that's probably the only uh, explanation I can with. like stuff like that's like i wish it would show like show us more so it doesn't seem like a power boost for nothing that that's what i felt this last episode was like yeah, and then his privilege was actually really horrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's so stupid. Like I, I thought it was gonna be some kind of like epic like, ability. Like power. It's just like it's just yeah, yeah. It just has ability to make you bet all your points. Yeah, and then that's that's how he won. He just made you bet all your points you lost, and then your whole clan was dismembered because you have zero points. That's why, like, I was like saying, okay, I think I explained the privilege that makes him so strong, and then it just shows that. So it's like. So it makes yeah. it, it makes it hard to believe, and then again, like they're doing the thing where uh, I mean, the other guy, like he, that guy, uh, Ryuji, like he just shot off his machine gun, and killed a whole bunch of people. It's, I mean, mm-hmm. his is more believable because he has, I guess, the bulletproof armor, but still, like no one even shot at him. He's got to get free fire just staying there. No, it's stupid because the SWAT team, I'm sure they have bulletproof like armor too, or some kind of Kevlar equipment yeah. or whatever, you know, and then they got sliced up like nothing. And then you got this one guy with a LMG and all of a sudden he's able to take out 10 guys. Yeah, again, the that, same guys that took out the SWAT team. Yeah. And you, like, know? And that, and you can't, you can't like say Sigil because his Sigil just felt the truth, the lie detector. So it's like, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so both him and kind of, again, like they're not like it, it doesn't fit the logic of the show. Like it doesn't show like right. their powers are actually, this is what makes them strong. That's like, that's like my my complaint about this show is that like it's it was just like in the event where Ryuji just like just stood still and like fired from the hips and got like all this shot like all of this free shot against like the eighth clan and no one did anything like come on yeah i mean but but given all that right like going past a, ne- a negativity of this last episode i mean i i still think they they wrapped it up pretty well um i don't know it's 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 hard it's it's because like just a lot of this last episode, like, or half of it was, was Kaname, like, going crazy and, like, right, and being just strong. awakening in a sense. So it's just, like, it's so hard to, like, to, to, like, to not knock against, like, the show for that because, like, it, like, a good part of it was around, like, Kaname. Mm-hmm. And then the other part was Shuka, so. Yeah. And then, I, again, they're leaving it kind of open ended with this new character or this new villain, uh, or Boros. I believe his name was Overalls, you know. Overalls, yeah. So hopefully this is season two, <laughs> right? Because you still got to see Zulon being in action, and then now that they're like the top of the uh, top of that district or that area, yeah, uh, they're going to be easy targets. They basically take over like, all of Shibuya, so yeah. And then with the metaphor that they use at the end with the whole like venomous insect fight in a pot oh, or whatever, yeah. uh, looks like Konami is now the king of the venoms or whatever. Hey man, uh, he's so. He's... He's a raven now. Yeah, so everything is about to just pop off in his next arc or whatever uh, they, they decide to do. But So the, the thing I do like is, um, so even though, like, at the end where, like, he kept he made the rule, like, no D games in his territory, like, but he, mm-hmm. like, he did that, but he still had to kill people because he, he realizes, too, that, like, th- this is what I like, is him not being naive. Like, people are still gonna, like, fight each other and, like, try to get points and stuff, so... He mm-hmm. basically like, even though he he's trying to be like, like he's trying to stop the killing. He realizes he he still has to kill people to mm-hmm. get his like get his goal. So at least he's he's not naive in that way. Yeah, I want to say throughout the whole series, his character development has been like like on point. Uh, as an MC, I I, I didn't find any fault with him, uh, like, except for when he was in the the yeah, hotel for the, the first time. Yeah. And he bitched out. But other than that, like his character development has been like great the whole time. I gotta say, yeah, because because he's 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 confident in his abilities and he's willing to like fight it out. Mm-hmm. He's and like and this could and this could have been like any other anime basically where like where the main character has to rely on the overpowered heroine, but they're mm-hmm. both like equally strong. So that's that's nice to see. I still think Shuka could kick his ass. <laughs> But uh, you know, like I said, plot armor. So plot armor, um, yeah, I mean, she's. Sh- I, I, I still don't understand why he's that strong, but whatever. Like it's, so that's like that's like the, my my big negative is just not explaining like all his strengths. But show mm-hmm. overall, I guess like, I don't know. Maybe I was hoping for a more epic fight with Wang, but I guess it was still 
I guess for me this time though, it's it's more sa- it's so it's satisfying, satisfying just like right. seeing him die. But yeah, I was expecting something more extreme between the two leaders. You like know? you want that... like this show has been so action focused. So, like it's really weird how like so, like some like a lot of the conclusions were like were anticlimactic. Like right, with like the the event you know, and then and then the way this ended, just like just easily like chopping off like Wang. Mm-hmm. It's weird, like yeah, like basically like the middle fights were the most epic parts, and then like the endings were always anticlimactic. So, do you think that last episode or this episode lived up to the last episode's hype, like with the way they had it set up? I'm just, I'm just more like I, I'm just more I don't like just not, just, just not explaining how how kind of got that strong with without explaining his powers. That 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 mostly dragged it down for me. Mm-hmm. So though, I would say no. Okay. Yeah, I got to say the same thing too. Uh, it was kind of a big letdown. Um, although seeing how like overpowered Shuka is was was pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it, it 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 did not live up to the hype that it was letting up to be. Um, like, just, although it's just, I, just I mean, it's just like the event. Like, just there's no like big final like fight. It's just mm-hmm. just like a, abrupt ending, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, it's, again, it's really weird how they introduced Shulan for like I guess one episode, and then we didn't get to see her for a while. So if they do a second season, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming she's gonna be she's gonna be like, important in the next arc. So now, like, like they basically have like basically like three really strong people in the clan. They have like Shulan, they have Shuka, and then Kaname is like strong himself. So like, when you have that, no, that, I mean, that, you, that, you that, can't. What? You can't ignore the uh, the sniper girl, uh, the the girl the I mean, last. She's not really meant for combat, combat though. She's there for me for info. But she's still extremely powerful though. I don't want to say. Like, yeah, I consider her, she's like she's like the Futaba of like of the group. Like she's there for like, for like stats <laughs> analysts. Oh, uh, I I guess she's like the Futaba, <laughs> she's like the Futaba and Rise of the group. She can't be part. She can't be in the party to fight. She's there just to analyze the enemy. Dude, that's fucked up. Supports the people too. All right. Uh, but, but yeah, um, so what what would you give this out of a ten then? I want to say like seven or eight. Okay. Probably like yeah, seven like, seven point five. Yeah, I'd say I'd give this a seven. Uh, just because of the kind of a giant letdown at, at the the ending there. Um, it's just I feel they had more a much more potential to to end it in a better uh on a on a better so note. So for me, it gets uh. It gets higher. It gets higher points because, like, this was, um, this was one of the better like survival battle, battle games, survival games. Mm-hmm. But because like there's so much that I've read mangas of, like, not nothing really. I guess not much surprised me. It, there was a lot of tropes that this show followed, but it was mm-hmm. more enjoyable than a lot of the ones I've I I read. So I'll give it that. Yeah, it was and definitely enjoyable. The main character. Like, I really enjoy the main character, whereas like every other battle, like survival game, like it's always like the main. It's 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 like a uh, Mirai Nikki, like Future Diary, where like the main character is mm-hmm. usually a bitch and he has to rely on the, the heroine to protect him. Right. Um, so I guess you don't like guys who rely on females, then, huh? I don't you, hate you them as more, much huh? as other people. You want like. More so- <laughs> I know, like some people, like they really hate it. Like they, there's some many people, like they bitch so much about like like m- like wimpy main characters. Yeah. I'm, I'm more sympathetic. I understand that like don't sound like it. <laughs> not not everyone can like be that strong. Like like just like putting yourself in their shoes. Like if you were caught in a sur- survival game and right. you're, you're not used to fighting or, or even killing someone, it's like I understand the pressure. So like, yeah. I guess I want to call it like many of the people who complain about that. It's like, like people complain about wimpy main characters. Like, okay, you try being in that situation. You you do better than them. True, I say that all the time. But like, people think they know everything. Like all, just all, they seen all the these show once. all these keyboard warriors. I just say like, man, what a bitch. Like you should have done this and that and this and that. It's like <laughs> okay, when you're in that situation, you, you we'll, we'll we'll throw you in that situation or, yeah. Yeah, let, let's make your anime or MC. How, or or how, how, how about we throw this. you into like a war zone? You know, how about you, you, you tell us how how much better you'll be at, 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 at in that situation. Mm-hmm. So, 
So uh, I'm more okay. sympathetic, but like, but uh, going back to the main character, like he's he was very enjoyable to to watch the series. So uh, that was a big plus. I just really wish that they would have developed more. Uh, again, he he had so much potential, and they just kind of fell flat on it. I just skipped and a then... lot of things. So like, I need I need better explanations. Otherwise, it's just like this is too too far. Like, yeah, too far, that's far, just... far up. What if it's just those like like us just demanding too much? But it feels like it's just how it's been for the past year or two. We just expect more and it kind of fall flat. Mm. No, we need because I think it's just because like a lot of low hanging fruit like ant shows or like like mangas like novels have been like been adapted. So mm-hmm. like and it's, it's just it's a problem of, of isekais and like the web novels in general. It, it's like the isekais and the harems. It's like. Mm-hmm. it's it's too much pandering that's the problem mm. like it's too many writers like trying to make shows for for what they think people like instead of shows what they think is good mm-hmm. that's the main problem of anime right now basically but then with this series it kind of gave me a hope for more survival horrors because uh, i think i've watched like three other ones and this is the only one i've actually enjoyed so uh with that being said hopefully the next one that they come out with Hopefully they're, they they're usually not that popular though, so like we'll never know like how much they'll influence other shows. So we'll see. Right. I mean, but then this one came out, and I like, didn't think this genre was still like like the, the genre is like a dime a dozen. So right, but, but it's like any other. Like there's so many other genres I like too. I guess so. I guess right. I could. I shouldn't really say that. Like there's like that's. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be saying that about like survival games when we still have isekais. Honestly. Yeah, but this is what, well, like you mentioned, this isn't really like their time to shine. It's more isekais and MMORPGs and whatever, right? It's it's not really yeah. meant for this genre to be out. So it's kind of surprising that this came out. Yeah, this I think this is still like one of those like those niche genres where it's like there'll be a few popular ones, but it won't be like it won't be a lot of them. Because mm-hmm. I think like you have to plan more in advance for these kind of things compared to like isekais, where you can usually make them like isekais and rom coms and harems. You can usually make them up as you go along and drag it out more. Whereas like, it's hard to drag out a survival game. Uh, uh I suppose, but <laughs> I, it doesn't seem that hard based on what I've seen in the past. <laughs> All right. And also like what I've seen so far, it seems like, um, uh, for light novels and, or at least like it's got to go more of the kind of like the snafu route where it's like more of like the, like, um, like, the, like the high school kids like understanding what it means to be like social or understanding like more of like the coming of age stories so something that's more relatable i guess yeah and more but about what like, if yeah so but what if you've never been in that position before you've never had an issue i, I mean that's that's like i've heard that that's like a uh, based on like what's getting more popular in japan that's like that's what's mm-hmm. more of the the the, the series you're gonna see so after Maybe after like Isekai's finally start to die down, we'll go more back to that high school rom com genre. Oh, I'm sure Stratton will be very happy if that's the <laughs> I'm case. sure he will. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> uh I mean, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had for Darwin's game, though. Alright, so that's gonna be it. And then we're gonna move next. Um we'll go do Bullfurry. Oh, okay. Um, so for this one, it was actually started to pick up a little bit more. Um, you know, last time they ended up with, uh, Bofuri, or not Bofuri, uh, they ended up with Maple, uh, and their, her two max attack assistants, uh, fighting off against the Flame Emperor and her, her two cards. And, uh, you know, surprise, surprise, uh, Maple won, uh, <laughs> the fight. Yeah. So basically, uh. Like they were able to pin her down and get her to the point where they were able to take out her her two uh, sidekicks or whatever. Um, but then they were also able to take out the the two guards for the flame emperor as well. And then when they realized that they couldn't take out Maple, uh, the flame emperor did a, a self destruct explosion attack, which she thought would have killed Maple, but uh, Maple was completely fine, so that, that was kind of pointless. Um, and then now it's coming down to the big final battle. I think there's only one episode left. And uh, at the end of this episode, 
they had it set up to where Payne and his like three strongest warriors went to go to Maple's base to uh like fight them one v one or like four v five or whatever, and then it just goes into uh Payne fighting Maple and Payne just completely overpowering her. Um, but they didn't show her dying yet. They just showed her about to get um deleted in a sense. So uh, we're not sure exactly what's going to happen. This is in my final form. Or, yeah. So or, I mean, who knows? Or actually, right? if your MMO character be like, you activate my trap card or something, like, right? Like, but activating me to one HP, I can transfer I can, into that. Uh, you act, you you procked my next ability. Yeah. So I mean, she hasn't really used or, that ability that often. You, you procked my passive. Yeah. So I'm sure something crazy is about to happen, but uh, I'm pretty sure Maple's going to come out on top. I don't see her losing this again anyway. But uh, again, it's. I don't know why I'm still watching this, but there hasn't been anything that's been groundbreaking. But actually, man, I just... Uh, I, I understand, Kua. Cool. I'm the friend. Right. I'm the actually, I, with I, should, I should mention, I tried um, watching the latest episode that was, I left off of, and I'm like, I just, I got bored. And and like, I was like, man, I don't want to watch this anymore, so I'm... Yeah, like, it, it's it's actually boring. Like, it's... Well, it's like, I mean, it's I, for, me, for but... me, it's for me, it's like the thought of like, man, I have to marathon the rest of this. I want to get caught up. I was like, I don't even want to do that. So right, it's it's just uh, everything is just so bland. There's nothing groundbreaking. It's just if you enjoy seeing OP characters and like slice of life, right? Like their slice of life. That's basically this. It's just Maple's life, and you're just experiencing her journey as an OP character that can transform into an angel, a demon, and is some kind really, of mechanic. At least comedy. Do we at least have that? Uh yeah, no, there's there's some of that, but it's kind it's of, more uh, slice of life. Yeah, slice of life comedy, you know. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm not yeah. in the mood for a slice of life like MMO, so Yeah, you and then it... even even when I try to make it to be like somewhat serious, like with Payne's character, he's just like he's basically like the old guy that tries too hard in video games, right? He's the number one PvP guy, you know, he's gotta be the best. He takes everything way too seriously that's, not an old that's guy. basically that's, that's the that's the 14 year old right so so basically that's him versus maple some kid who's over overpowered but doesn't really care she's just doing whatever um so again don't know why i'm watching this uh there, there's really no like groundbreaking or like if i like, was like immersed in the world i i'd be more i watch i'd be more excited because like for, for me to enjoy a slice of life mo i had to, yeah i had to be a, immersed in like the big the world or the characters Mm-hmm. And here's just neither because like it's they're all generic. Yeah, I mean maybe if you just like lighthearted stuff, I guess I, you could you know, find like, it be, like or they can even they can make an, an MMO where someone doesn't like fighting, they just do crafting all day. I've watched that. Like some some new player, <laughs> some new player, it's like man, I don't want, I I'm only in this skill so I can craft, so I'm gonna max all my crafting skills. I, I watched uh... that show. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I can I can kind of see it because I like playing games like Harvest Moon and like uh, they other, like, like, like they games. can't do they can't do much like when they're doing like the raid and stuff. So they're just right. They're just there just to get like the things they need, and then like everyone but everyone relies on them as as the crafter. Dude, I would love that gimmick right there. <sighs> I don't know. I can I can play the game. But then, I don't know but if then, I can actually but, watch a series about it. But then again, it's like that still relies on the guild system, which most of these MMO shows still haven't done well. Like, but there it, has to be like a like a premise too though like there has to be something that's actually uh entertaining you yeah. with that with that plot or that gimmick and i don't see how that would work mm-hmm. i'm just throwing stuff something out here like also yeah. it's, it's always like you know fantasy mmos like maybe you can get like a sci-fi mmo for once or uh, mm-hmm. some sort of modern day mmo i don't know like yeah or i don't know so yeah, I mean, but that's basically what this episode. Next episode is going to last episode, and then uh, maybe we'll see something crazy happen. But uh, I'm not, I'm not expecting much. Uh, but yeah, try to ask for if you're. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Not... Oh, wait, wait, no, not oh, next week. week, I'll let you know. Oh, but as of right now, it probably won't be more than a five. <laughs> <laughs> for winter, I'll give it a six. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's, that's, that's low that, scores, man. Yeah. Low score. That's it's, that's it's winter. That's why I tell you, man. Every winter is always a slow season. It was only it was only because mm-hmm. of last 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 year that we actually had a decent winter with Kaguya Sama and Promise Neverland and Mob Cycle. Yeah. <laughs> the only one I watched of those was Mob Cycle, yeah. and yeah. it was my favorite. It was my favorite of the year. Yeah, too. Last last winter was pretty good. Loved it. 
So uh, yeah, I'm, checking, I'm checking out Winter right now. Oh, Shield Hero was okay. Oh yeah, Shield Hero, yeah. Okay. And Dororo was okay. That was the first half. That was actually good. <laughs> no, we're about to fight. <laughs> All right. So, and then I'm just gonna quickly talk about Inspector again. So this episode, I think we finally are getting out of the arc. Yeah, I guess Woo-hoo. this is the last episode. Uh, next week is the last episode. Damn. Mm, okay. But like, we finally solve like the mystery. I guess like the, the the justification was that like all like that stuff that happened that was dragging on. I guess they needed it for this last part. Just basically like, there's, like so much like so much like BSing like on the, like where she kept make up stories online just to like try bait everyone. And then in the end, it actually worked because, like, they she actually brought it around to say, like, like, um, like the ghost, like the you know the girl that died and turned to ghost. It turns out she, she kept lying, saying it turns she is alive, and she was she was the admin of this site all along. And oh, like the reason why you keep trying to shut me down is because you're the admin and stuff. And that part was actually pretty interesting, but just it just got way it took way too long to get here. Like, oh my god. I, I don't know. I guess, like, if there's a second season, I'd still watch it because, like, the premise of the show in itself is still interesting, but it's just, like, this arc just dragged on so much. Like. Uh, that's like me saying I would watch before season two of something. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, know. I, I mean, if it took that long for you to get to this point, I don't know. If... I mean, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend other people watching it, but, like, I made it this far, so, like, I, and, like, it's just, I mean, the first case was interesting. It's just the second one drag it out, so like yeah, if there's another one, I'd be willing to give it another shot. Just because like yeah, the premise is interesting. It's very interesting enough to me at least. But I can't recommend it to people to new if mm-hmm. you haven't like been caught up or or at least like read the manga and just like skip this arc or something. I'm pretty sure it wasn't this dragged out in the manga. So That's all I gotta say for for Inspector. Maybe like yeah. Probably give it like, I mean, even in the next week episode being lots of soul, I'll probably give it like a six or something, six or six point five. Damn man, all these low scores, Jesus! You have to be harsh, man. Yeah, you yeah. Have mercy. You can't. It's winter. What do you expect, sir? We can't lower the bar, Stren. Shouldn't the bar already be low? Shouldn't these scores be like you know heightened up a no, bit? Oh, why would you? There's no curve here, right? <laughs> why why, why are you giving special like? If you're not, we're if not you're, professionals. If, if, so you're, if okay. you're not watching it Guys, right now, like, why, don't bother like catching up to it later. <laughs> I, I was, I'm commenting on shows I have no clue what I'm talking about, so don't listen. <laughs> yeah, get the heck out of here, man. Well, I mean, it's the ending, so say what you say what you want now, Stren. Like, yeah, whatever yeah, closing means. remarks you want, this is now it's time to say it because we gotta wrap it up. So, but winner again, like just. It's almost over. Yeah, basically, like only watch it Invaded and our Doro Hedgerol. Like, that's like the only two good series this season. Um. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's about the same. I mean, Darwin's game was pretty enjoyable Darwin's game too. Was enjoyable, uh, but but it's like if you're yeah. not caught up to these shows, it's like you're not gonna like you're not gonna like put them in your back catalog or anything and watch later. Yeah, I'd say there's probably only like, five I, series. I'd rather that would be like, like there's notable. so much other shows that happen like in like fall and summer and spring of last year that you'd rather get caught up to. Or you could start watching Diamond No Ace because that's still pretty <laughs> damn good. Or I guess like after this season, just more time to watch High if you haven't. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, although according to Stratton, you probably shouldn't, but um, we'll see what happens in part two. Yeah, it's always part two. That's the hope. Okay, only yeah. this, only this uh, season. Everything else has been so good. Where it's definitely, got, it's got to be one of the best. Like, uh, but now sports, it's like now, sports anime. But now it's like you got caught up for part two in the summer. Mm. Yeah, that's true. So wait, so was this the last show then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, was, I was doing. I was, some... I was saying all this time, Stray, and like I was saying. That's it for the free or for oh. inspector. If you have any closing remarks, now would be the time because we gotta wrap it up. Oh, my bad. You I'm uh, mex- you people are messaging me on uh, Twitch, so or not Twitch, um, Discord. So I, I've been busy with that. Um, you no, know, I looked up the stuff with uh, you know, like the the leprechaun guy we were talking about in Fake Ground Order. Leprechaun guy. Apparently his 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 name is Lev Laner. Uh, apparently he died in <laughs> in the second singularity. Oh, did he? What the hell? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that sounds so, uh, pretty important to like not mention in damn it. Yeah. He died in the second singularity, but it sounds like he makes an appearance in Solomon. I don't know in what way or how. But uh, he died in the second one. Okay, so, so I guess there's a, another villain then. That so I, I he has, have no he clue. Was, he was the puppet of the actual villain. Yes, another one of those guys. So I just stopped there. I didn't really want to spoil too much more for me, even though I there's about 95% well, like, chance that, I will have no that, clue what's happening. That, that, that kind of stuff is like stuff we should know going in, but we don't. We should. We won't. We, we should because fucking fake Grand Order made billions of dollars, so you can't maybe, give excuses. They can't make. They can't adapt them all. Maybe that movie that that's supposed to adapt the six singularity. Maybe it'll give it. some answers. No, I yeah. doubt it. I don't. I don't think so either. I, I mean, that, if, I think the ad too with the anime is just like just like if you haven't if you don't like I think it's just basically like this is for mobile game players just to enjoy, and if you want enjoy, yeah. if you what? if you haven't just. Don't bother to watch to play the game. Well, I, I never really got it because it's just like if you're the mobile game player, like would you? Because I know like with a lot of manga, I know there's a bunch of manga readers that uh, will watch the anime, but I know there's also a bunch of manga readers that will only read the manga because they just think the anime is the worst of the two. Kind of like the whole thing with you know books and movies. But I, I don't know why you would you would you know you would go towards the mobile game players for the anime when there's a bunch of people who don't like mobile games. <laughs> Non Japan, yeah. like they're too poor. Non Japan, yeah. Non -Japan. I, I keep forgetting. This is Japan. Yeah. God, mm. not your poor. You can still experience the story. You don't have to pay. <laughs> no, no, no. You're not going to get past the first chapter if you don't pay something. See, that's, right? that's... I, I got, I got to the third singularity. Never paid a thing. I mm. remember, I, I hoarded my all my iris or got whatever they're called in, in the mo uh, fake round or mobile game. When it was like all I wanted, or something. Yeah, all I wanted was Nero. She was a four star, not even a five star. I I wasted what would have been the equivalent of of hundreds of dollars. I got one four star and no five stars. The four star was, I think it was a uh, berserker from um, Fate Zero. That was it. I got nothing else. Bazaka. It was so yeah, I, and that's when I was basically like, I'm I'm done with this game. <laughs> so so like, I want to go back to like the comment about how yeah, like owning owning Japan. That's been the problem of like. Anime video games for like two, three, two or three decades is because <sighs> yeah. only in Japan. So it's only recently that they finally start making, they finally like putting more anime out that is more popular outside Japan. Yeah. There's a larger audience. Yeah. <laughs> what if Japanese people are just getting sick of the shit they've been seeing their whole lives and like America <laughs> is just starting to get accustomed to it or Europe is getting starting to get accustomed no, to well, it? So that's why they like it. The thing is, um, like anime in general, like. It's so like it's so supported by such a small audience in Japan that so like it's relying it's relying on whales basically like it's like the anime fan like the whale anime fan. It's like it's they have to rely on people a few amount of people spending a lot of money, so and that's only sustainable up to a certain point. And so it just and it just reached a point where like where um uh, and and a combination of like being more popular outside Japan too where like. They can finally have an alternative outside of that model, so. So yeah. <laughs> I have no clue. I have no comment. Okay, so that's where really to wrap it up. That's it for this week. We got like so. I think next week is gonna be like the last um, the last week of winter. We're gonna do all like the. Well, actually, no. Some sh does. No, there's another actually, week after that. Yeah, oh my shows. god. Okay. Well, <clears throat> yes, yep. mainly be done. Last week. Yeah. Next we week. Next week, we David, we'll just we'll, we'll just talk or we'll do the wrap up with Faker in order just okay. to get it out of the way and done with. Okay, yeah. So, um, but it sounds like it sounds like Sasha will be with us though for the um, Hero Academia season wrap up. That's mean two weeks old, isn't it? Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep. So, so next week we'll just do like it'll probably be like a short episode, just like technically should be like the last week of winter, and then uh, first week of April we'll do like um, we'll do the wrap ups for yeah for Hero Academia and High Q, and then. Probably talk about Tower of God. Talk about Tower of God. Um, uh, Glepner. yeah, I'm gonna watch it too, David. So, <laughs> you are, you're okay, I'll watch it. Why not? So, yeah, we'll, just, <laughs> we'll talk about our first impression of Tower of God, and then I think Glepner also airs on uh, right before then, too. So, maybe we'll talk about that. Another one I'm watching. Nice. Uh, so, hopefully, that airs before, hopefully, it airs like Saturday night or something, so you can watch it Sunday for the podcast. I mean, I could always watch it Sunday morning as well. Or like right before the podcast, so, like or something. Either, either Saturday night or Sunday morning. Hopefully, it airs <clears throat> one of those times before we shoot the podcast. So, 
So hopefully we'll have two shows to talk about for the first weekend, but then we'll do like a general like um spring preview because most of the shows will air the week after that, the second week. So that's our plan. So just want to thank the listeners be for good. listening and anyone who made it this far. <laughs> want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Anytime, every week. <laughs> and yeah, we're going we're gonna to head off here. So till next week, see ya. Bye. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye.